Hi, kindergarten. Today we're going to read cock a doodle Do Barnyard Hullabaloo by Giles, Andrea, and David Wachowicz. Here's our title page. It has our title and then the author and illustrator are listed below. Early in the morning, as the sun begins to rise, the pigs are feeling hungry and they're snorting in their sties. The rooster wakes up the farm with a cock a doodle doo. The sheepdog won't stop barking and the cows begin to moo. There's a stomping in the stables and there's a bleeding in the barn. So let's climb aboard the tractor and explore that noisy farm. Rooster. Cock-a-doodle-doo, cock-a-doodle-doo. I'm the rockin' rooster, baby. Tell me, how are you? Cock-a-doodle-doo. Chickens. The chickens are covered with feathers all over their wings and our legs. So of course we could fly if we wanted to try, but we're too busy laying these eggs. Cow. Sometimes I moo while I'm chewing. I hope you don't think that it's rude, but mooing and chewing are what I like doing. Do you moo when you chew your food? Sheepdog. I am the farmer's old sheepdog, his faithful and loyal best friend. I've been by his side from the day I was born and I'll stay with him right to the end. This says barnyard cat. Hello, I'm the big barnyard kitty. I sleep in the shade of the house, but I always keep one eye half open to spot every passing plump mouse. The mouse says, yikes. Pigs. I love taking care of my piglets and watching them wriggle and squeal. They clamor all over each other all day and, and snuffle around for their meal. And it says, wiggle, wiggle, snuffle, snuffle. Donkey. It's wonderful being a donkey. I simply spend hours and hours just wandering around on the soft, grassy ground, sniffing the sweet smelling flowers. Turkey. I've got these funny floppy things that hang down from my neck. They dangle when I gobble and they wobble when I peck. Geese. We waddle about in the barnyard and make so much noise when we talk. That wandering goslings rush out of our way as we babble and cackle and squawk. There's the little goslings. That's what a baby goose is called. Sheep. I've got gorgeous fluffy fleece, which makes me very proud. So I skip around my meadow, make believing I'm a cloud. Goat. I sometimes hang out by the sheep pen, clucking into my beard. Sheep often think that they're better than us, but goats never need to be sheared. Horse. There's nothing like hay when you're hungry. I'm happy to munch a whole bale, but sometimes I stop for a clippity clop or, a f or to flick a few flies with my tail. There's like a tiny little bee actually right there. Bull. I love to snort steam from my nostrils. It makes me look angry and tough. And then I start scraping my hoof on the ground if that isn't scary enough. Fox. I wait in the woods until nightfall, then down to the barnyard I creep because nothing looks quite as delicious as chickens who's fallen asleep. And here's the owl. I always hunt at nighttime and I sleep throughout the day. Ter wit, ter whoo, you'll hear me cry out searching for my prey. Remember these, these animals are called nocturnal if they're mainly doing their hunting and they're um, just up at night. 
Now it's nighttime in the barnyard and the moon is shining bright. It's time to leave the animals and wave them all good night. The cows are feeling sleepy, so they settle on the ground. It won't be very long now till they're sleeping safe and sound. The horse is in the stable and the hens are in their shed, but the sheepdog's fallen fast asleep inside the farmer's bed. You can find him way up here. He is in that farmer's bed. That's the end.